<laughs> Didn't tell you, but yeah. All right, so my name is Max. Um, I use they, them pronouns. Um, and, um, and so I actually showed up here just because I was going to watch, and then Osiris here was like, you should do it, so I did. So here we are. Um, and he's giving me a license to blame it on him by myself. Um, so um, I'm a number of different kinds of things, but uh, one of them is that I am a poet. So um, I'm going to read a poem for you that I haven't performed in exactly a year, actually, as of today. <laughs> so we're going to see how it goes. This is called Margarian, sir. The worst thing you could ask me in kindergarten was my favorite color. Hands shaking, lip bit by the front tooth I hadn't lost that filled in my star of the week poster. B L U E. Are you sure, Max? What if it's actually orange or red or, or indigo or, or green or. Ah, uh, my first nervous break. That afternoon off the bus, Mom, Mom, Eva, why did they make me choose? She said, whatever you think is the right answer is the right answer. Just pick one. That's all. Just pick one. In first grade, I was taught to take a standardized test, taught to recognize the letter A so I could bubble it in, taught to bubble in only one answer per question, taught that marks outside of the bubbles won't be recognized by the scanner, taught that there is one right answer and it's one of those bubbles. Now, I am in the year after college, I am an ambidextrous, non-binary, transgender, demi-queer, demi-sexual, queer, griffin claw, white-passing, middle kid with hazel eyes from the rural suburbs who is twice over in remission. My permanent address is a place I cannot call home. My home is a place I cannot permanently reside. I equally like dogs and cats. <laughs> I cannot tell you my favorite color, or which Quidditch team is mine, or which of my hands is dominant, nor whether I'm sick or well, or where I am actually able to call home. These are questions about myself, but I cannot pick one. I'm not recognized by the scanner. I have failed the test, because I am alive outside of the bubbles. And that is great. Because the function of alive is not to be between birth and death, it is to be alive. Summer vacation isn't a waiting room for the school year. Weekends aren't some obstacle to Monday. Childhood isn't a Lincoln Tunnel to adulthood. Out here, outside of the bubbles, I can like whatever colors I want, get excited by any fluffy animal, draw with two different markers at the same time, two different colors at the same time, and buy only the best smelling shampoo because they don't market dough for not buying hair. Out here, outside of the bubbles, I don't have to dodge the oar. I can be content in the end. Thank you.